Ew. Story time. So, no hesitation. Let's hop right into it. Uh, I got some gameplay in the background for y'all. Y'all already see that. I ain't got to explain much. So, um, man. Where do I even begin? All right, so usually I've been making moves like ever since I moved out my mom's like I I will always find a roommate and I will always travel with like just the stuff that fit in my car. But ever since moving in here, we've been getting stuff like piece by piece by piece, just filling out the house. So we was looking for a washer and dryer, right? And Washing and drying, that's like eight, nine, a rack. I mean, for the set, you know, you want something decent. So we looking on Facebook, we find one. Somebody got a little business where they be selling them and whatever. So we found this set for like 350, right? Everything good, everything kosher. I go meet the guy, look at it. We don't start it right there or anything, but I'm like, yeah, bring it by house, we hook it up. Everything cool, pay you, cool, 350. Just wipe your hands with it, it's done. So, you bring it to the crib. Washer's cool, hook it up, everything working. The dryer is this thing called a cow tail. I'll show y'all what that is right now. So it's this thing called a cow tail. You're supposed to plug one end to the back of the dryer, plug the other end into the outlet, and that's your power, like your power cable or whatever. So he didn't have that. It didn't fit the outlet that we had here at the crib. So I had to go get one from Home Depot or something. So I'm on the phone with Pops. I'm like, yo, this is the right cable. It says it's for a range stove, but it'll fit. Like, it's interchangeable or whatever. Can you do the, the stove cable on the uh, dryer? Will it work? He's like, yeah, everything cool. Those are interchangeable, Caltel, all this other stuff. So I bought a cable, it's like $22. So I'm like, bet, we just got a whole set for like three, $3.70, something like that. So. That's a good price. So I come home, I'm looking at the cable. It's, it's still throwing me off that it says it's for a range stove. It doesn't say dryer cable. So I go to plug that joint into the outlet. <laughs> when I tell y'all, that shit blew up in my hand, dog. Like I really thought it was a GG for me. I thought I was gone. Like <laughs> When you get really scared, like when you get really scared, you get like, your body get hot and cold at the same time. Like if that ain't never happened to you, you ain't never been like in a fearful state. Like adrenaline be high as hell. I'm telling y'all when I plugged it in, that shit blew up in my hand on some black lightning shit. Could have had some superpowers or something for real dog. So moving on anyway. I call, I call Pops back. He like, yo, you dumb as hell. Like, you got to put the end on the dryer before you plug it in. Like, what I had done, all the voltage from the outlet and the cable going together, like, ran to the end of the cable, but it wasn't connected to anything for the power to, like, disperse out. So that shit just blew up in my hand. But luckily, it's a thick-ass cable. So all the circuit went to the end and went back to the outlet and just blew up. So... That's out the way. I'm like, God damn. Like, I don't even want to deal with this. So, I should have done this first. Turn the the switch on the wall off. Like, to turn the power in the room off, in the laundry room. Then, I hook the thing to the dryer. Plug it in. Turns on. Everything's cool. Go to wash the load. It's not drying the clothes. So, I'm like, damn, what's going on? Like, I text the dude. Like, yo, we still got warranty or whatever. Boom, boom, boom chop it up with him he like yeah i come check it out so he come back like two three days later he's like yo what's going on i'm like yo it's not blowing out no hot air like i put my hand behind it nothing's going on so he don't even got tools with him he like i'll tell you what like i put it on my truck take it to the shop figure out what's going on i bring it back I'm like, all right whatever bro so it's like thursday like a whole fucking week go by the Super Bowl was Sunday, so I text him on Saturday. He like, oh yeah, it's the timer or something. I'll bring it by tomorrow. 
back of my mind, I'm like, bro, he not coming tomorrow. Like, it's the Super Bowl. He just gave me to shut up for today. So text him again, Super Bowl Sunday. Ah, something going on with the timer. I got it, though. I'm going to handle it. Bring it tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, cool, bro. Monday go by. It's now Tuesday. He just now brought it back. But before he came over here, he texted me like, yo, whoever hooked this cable up, burnt all this other stuff up in the dryer. I had to get new parts. I had to do this, do that. Replace a timer. Replace a... a, a some it's beyond me. I don't know. I'm not no dryer mechanic. So anyway, all this stuff he's saying is wrong because of uh, uh, uh outlet cable that I had put on there. He's saying that the outlet was the reason that everything else got burnt up on the inside of the dryer. That don't make no sense, bro. That don't make no sense. Like the shit blew up in my hand. It was not connected to the dryer at all when that happened, you know? Like, you down. I don't know, it's just beyond me right now. Like, I'm really, I can't even wrap my brain around it. So, I, I'm, before he came over, I'm on the phone with him. Like, nah, the cable did not have nothing to do with all that stuff. That was like internal damage on that stuff before you sold it to me, you know? Because I messed the cable up, but the cable was still boo. Like, you could still use that cable. Um, I put the picture. This is what the cable was looking like after I about lost my life. Um, so he like, yeah, I had to get new cable, new timer, new uh, heating element, all this stuff, and it's gonna be like fifty more dollars, like when I drop it off today for parts and labor, you know? I'm like, bro, it's like still under the thirty day warranty, so this nigga get to screaming. Uh, just getting loud, talking louder. Like, I ain't never gonna win no shouting match. I don't do that. I don't be yelling back and forth, bro. Like, you start yelling, I'm about to just go on quiet mode, let you strain your vocal cords. Are you done? All right, cool. Now we can move on about the thing. But the dryer's working. It's back now. Ended up paying 50 more dollars. I guess you can say, like, $400 for this set. At the end of the day, it's... A lot cheaper than buying it new, but just because you're getting something at a cheaper price, it's gonna come with like some. It's gonna come with some baggage, you know. It's gonna be a little more to it than just here's the money, here you go. But I mean, I mean, we got the washer and dryer. I literally had to wear uh, tights as drawers today. I ain't washed clothes in like four weeks, bro. I'm like running down to the. To the end of my laundry, you know? But, <laughs> shit. Crazy, I'm about to put some laundry in there. I'm about to go to Chief. Like, and now I'm going to go get some shots up at the LA Fitness. Like, I'm like level so, uh, <laughs> that's been the story, Tom. Yeah, Make sure y'all like this video. Comment down below what y'all would have done. Something like that. Y'all, it's going to be some people talking down in the comments. Y'all going to say, yeah, 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 yeah. I would have told him, blah, 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 blah. Y'all wouldn't have said shit. I don't even want to hear. Y'all wouldn't have said shit. Y'all ate that 50 like I did. Got the set for cheap. At the end of the day, frugal fro. Signing out. Like I said, about to go cheap, go hoop. Make some tacos. And we're going to leave it at that.